A short walk from the Arctic Interagency Visitor Center in Coldfoot, Alaska, BLM Central Yukon Field Office staff are constructing an interpretive display to convey the history of gold mining in the nation's farthest north mining district. A centerpiece of this exhibit will be a gas-powered churn drill that was removed from a nearby mine site by BLM archaeologists in 2009. This 1920s era Fairbanks churn drill was one of a handful of similar drills that revolutionized the discovery and mapping of buried placer deposits in Alaska. Prior to this innovation, prospectors had to hand dig test pits, sometimes well over 100 feet through frozen gravel to determine the presence and extent of gold deposits. The significance of churn drill technology to the history of Alaska mining was a driving force behind an effort to restore and share with the public this important artifact. Following a 10-mile haul down a creek to the Dalton Highway, the drill was transported another 250 miles south to Fairbanks and to the shop of machinist and antique engine expert John Howe, where over two years he meticulously restored the drill to working condition. From what little bit of running I did, it's scary to somebody that just understands the basics. Yeah. You got all the mechanical stuff doing what it's supposed to, it's scary fast. <laughs> From milling Douglas fir to manufacturing left-hand laying rope that keeps the tooling tight against the drop and pull of the hoist, all was done with an eye to detail and historical accuracy. The result is a working machine that is clearly the product of a bygone era, a machine that has the ability to engage the imagination and to provide a tangible link to Alaska's mining past.